This instructional video covers the preparation and administration of long-acting injectable cabotegravir, or CAB-LA, used as HIV pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP. Cab LA comes in a single use vial of 3 milliliters of an extended release injectable suspension containing 600 milligrams of Cab LA. One injection requires 3 milliliters of Cab LA. It does not need dilution or reconstitution. Cab LA should be stored in its original packaging below 30 degrees Celsius until ready to use. Exposure up to 30 degrees Celsius is permitted. Cab LA does not require refrigeration. You will need a 6 milliliter syringe, 23 gauge 1.5 inch length injection needle, non sterile gloves, two alcohol wipes, two gauze pads, a suitable sharps container, and an adhesive bandage, which may be used if bleeding occurs. While it is typical to use a 1.5 inch needle, consider the client's build to select the appropriate length. The use of a longer needle may help ensure intramuscular injection for those with a body mass index greater than 30 kg per meter squared. Follow these steps for preparation. First, inspect the vial. Do not use the medication if it has expired or if the vial contains foreign matter. The medication does not need to be refrigerated. However, if for any reason it has been cooled in storage or transport, Make sure it is warmed to room temperature before use by using the warmth of your hands. Do not use any other heating method and do not let it exceed 30 degrees Celsius. Vigorously shake the vial for a full 10 seconds to resuspend the contents. Next, invert the vial and check the suspension. Confirm the suspension is uniform. If needed, shake it again. It is normal to see some small air bubbles. To accurately administer the exact dose, let the excessive bubbles subside before drawing the medication into the syringe. Next, remove the cap from the vial. Clean the rubber stopper with an alcohol wipe and do not allow anything to touch it. Attach the aspiration needle to the syringe. It is recommended that you inject one milliliter of air into the vial to allow the required volume to be drawn up. Invert the syringe and vial and slowly withdraw as much of the liquid as possible into the syringe. There might be more liquid than dose amount. Hold the syringe with the needle pointing up. Press the plunger to the three milliliter dose to remove extra liquid and any air bubbles. Regardless of the needle size used to withdraw the medicine, replace it with a 23 gauge needle to inject. Do not use the same needle to withdraw the medicine and to inject. Once the medication has been drawn into the syringe, it is best to inject it as soon as possible. However, the medication can remain in the syringe for up to two hours. If the time limit is exceeded, discard the medicine, syringe, and needle. Refrigeration will not extend this two-hour limit. Use anatomical landmarks to correctly identify the injection site. This step is important to ensure proper delivery to reduce the risk of injuring nerves or blood vessels, and to minimize client discomfort. To inject the medication, first position the client on their side or in the prone position. Place the heel of your hand over the client's greater trochanter and the index finger on or toward the anterior superior iliac spine. Stretch the middle finger away from the index finger creating a triangle. The injection site is formed from the triangle created by the index finger the middle finger, and the iliac crest. It may be helpful to mark the site of injection using an ink pen or felt tip marker. It is important that the injected solution is properly placed and stays within the muscle tissue. The Z-Track method is recommended to prevent tracking or leakage of the solution during or immediately after an injection. To carry out the Z-Track method, Clean the injection site with an alcohol wipe. Using a spiraling motion that moves from inside outward, 
and allow the alcohol to dry. Using your hand on the client's hip, pull the skin laterally to displace the tissue about one inch or two and a half centimeters. If the skin has an ink mark to indicate the appropriate injection site, be aware that the mark will move away from its original position. The Z-Track injection method requires visualizing the original injection location while the skin is being stretched. With the needle at a 90-degree angle to the side, pierce the skin. Inject the medication slowly into the muscle at a constant rate. Once administration is complete, wait a few seconds before withdrawing the needle. Keep the needle steady to avoid additional discomfort and potential tissue damage. Use dry gauze to apply gentle pressure to the puncture site. If needed, apply an adhesive bandage safely. Do not massage the area. Discard sharps and contaminated materials as appropriate. Let us review the administration process one more time. Thank you for viewing this instructional video for the preparation and administration of CAB-LA for the prevention of HIV infection.